Hey everyone, welcome back. The My Memory app that we submitted to Google Play just got approved into the store. So what I wanna do in this segment is walk through the Google Play listing, along with doing a quick concept review of everything we've talked about to get to this point, and then we will celebrate. So here's the store listing, and it's pretty much what you'd expect. The app icon and the title are what we submitted into the Google Play console. It shows the developer name here, along with, on the right side, more apps by that developer. So I have two other apps live in the Play Store, which you can see here. We have the category of the app, screenshots, description, and then when we get reviews, those will show up over here. This section, what's new, is about release notes. For subsequent versions of the app, you can leave a message to users about what has changed. And the magical thing about software is that it's so easy to change, to iterate, and to improve. So I actually already made one improvement in the app which is I added a couple more colors into the dark theme so that the app will render better um, if your phone is using dark mode. So I would encourage you not to view publishing your app into the Play Store as an ending point, but instead as a starting point, where now you can make a bunch more improvements in terms of features or designs. At the bottom, we have additional information. For example, when was the app updated? How large is the app? 2.3 megabytes. How many installs does it have? and also requires Android 5.0 and up. And this is coming from the minimum API version of 21 in our app. And it tells users um, how recent does their Android phone have to be in order to download this app. So the really cool thing about having this app published is now we can take the URL and share that with anyone in the world and they can very easily download this application, My Memory, on their phone and tablet and play. One of the core features that we built into the app is the ability to create your own custom memory game using photos from your phone. So you're already familiar with the Corgi game that we used during the video walkthrough for the creation flow. I also have one called Bitmoji, which is my Bitmoji character doing different things. And then one more you can try out is the board game I created called Rahul, which is pictures of me just doing various activities. So if you also have a funny or creative custom memory game with your own photos, drop a comment and I would love to play it out. One more note on the topic of publishing. From the time that I submitted the app until it got approved by Google, it was about three days. I'm not really sure what the standard is given COVID-19. If you had a much shorter review time or a much longer, I'd love to also hear from you. The last thing I want to do in this segment is a review of everything we've covered. So there's a ton of really fundamental concepts that we've learned that you can now apply to whatever else you want to build. Um, we created a brand new Android Studio project. So we started from scratch. And then the main UI of our application is built on top of the recycler view. And the interesting thing is that the contents of that recycler view will be dynamically measured based on the screen width and height. We also started thinking about how do we use models to represent the different objects in the memory game, the memory card and memory game. And this is going toward the direction of app architecture. So we didn't explicitly talk about different kinds of app architectures, but basically app architecture means how do you organize your code? And so by using the recycler view and using the memory card and memory game, uh, we have already better idea of how to partition up the logic. So it's easier to debug and extend our application. And we also integrated with two Firebase services, storage and Firestore for the creation flow. And finally, we were able to publish our app into Google Play, and we talked about some of the best practices there. So here is that same picture cloud representation that I showed you in the very beginning of all the different things we learned. We made a brand new Android Studio project, so you're definitely familiar with Android Studio now. We talked about how to create vector icons and use that as a default memory card. We talked about views on Android and how they have content, padding, and then margins live outside the view, and we take that into account when creating the view width and height. The recycler view is the core component which is responsible for displaying that grid of memory cards. We talked about how there's a layout manager which puts things in the grid, the adapter which is responsible for binding a view in the recycler view to the underlying data set which is a list of memory cards. We also are uploading images to cloud storage and we're using cloud virus store as the, the database which is associating the game name to a list of image URLs. And then finally, like we just talked about, we are now live in the Google Play Store. So the result of all that work is this, where 
we were able to create a custom game with these very cute corgis. We won the game and we have confetti falling and we have that message at the bottom. And furthermore, anyone in the world can now download our app from the Play Store and play, play this game as well. Throughout the whole process, if you have any questions or feedback, I would love to hear from you. I'm on Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn, and Instagram at rpande1234. So I'd love to connect with you. And as you share the progress of what you're building, or if you just have a really funny or cute custom memory game, um, please use this hashtag, my memory in social media. That way we can all see the progress we are all making and give an encouragement or feedback to people. All right, that's all I had for this project. I hope you had as much fun building out this project as I had teaching it. If you wanna help me out, hit that like button and subscribe so you can become part of this learning community. Until next time, I hope you're all staying safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.